Some people say, okay, I understand that knowing the history, knowing the theology is important, but you must know God did this for you. Now, we need to know that God would have done all this just for us. This is personal. It includes the world, but it's also for us. But that in itself is not faith. Some people say, okay, we know the history, we understand the theological, spiritual implications, we understand God did that for us personally, and we trust it, we rest upon it, we know it to be true, and we act as if it's true. And they say, we've got faith. We as Lutheran says, no, you're not there yet. That's not faith. Faith is being changed from fear of God to loving God. Because you do know the historical, theological, <coughs> personal relationship that you trust. In other words, we know that the history took place. We know what it means in such a way for us personally that we accept and trust it. And so we no longer fear God. We are at peace with God. We know Jesus did all. We don't have to worry about how God's going to react. God's on our side. So we love him. Now we might have what's called filial fear. That is, we might be afraid of disappointing someone we love. Might be afraid of shaming someone we love. But we're not afraid of the one we love. When you know that someone truly loves you, there is a sense of safety, a sense of fellowship, connection. Can you imagine being married to someone that you are afraid of? Can you imagine thinking you got it together because you live in fear of your spouse? That's ludicrous, isn't it? And yet there are Christians out there who think they have fellowship with God and they're afraid of Him. They think God's just keeping a record of their wrongs, waiting to write them off. They think that God's mad at them for the sins they do. They think God's given up on them. God loves you. He proves his love by his son, Jesus Christ. That is the expression of his love. He gave his very son who died on the cross for our sins. All our sins, past, present, and future. Do you think he's going to give up on you now? No. no. He loves you. Don't reject him. Don't push him away. Accept his mercy. That's the essence of faith and fellowship. And the opportunities of fellowship that we create are so that we can encourage one another with God's love. So that we can join in partnership with one another in God's mission. So that we can support one another in their struggles and their doubts and their concerns and their griefs and their pains and their hurts. So that they may know, in this sinful world, God loves them. Yeah, it's true. Those who reject Jesus are on their way to eternity separated from God. That's why we go to share the love of God with them. And our heart breaks when they don't receive it. We tell them they're in danger. You know, I use this illustration. When I'm standing by the street and a little child runs out in the street, I run out and grab that child and get them out of the street. I don't care if the parents are standing there or not. I don't want that child hurt. Now, if the parent's close enough, close to me, I might yell, get your kid out of the street. But they ignore it. The car's coming. I'm going to get that child. They can say, oh, you touched my child, you're crazy, what's wrong with you? So you get them out of the street trying to save their life. 
Why? Because I don't want them to die. You can be mad at me all you want, but I don't want the child to die. And when I go and share the gospel with people, I don't want them to die. I don't want them to live in the pains and the suffering and the loss of their lives. I want them in fellowship with God, the love of God. so important that we want God's love in people's lives. Not to prove we're right. Not to somehow feel better about what we believe. Not to say we're correct and you're wrong. But so that they don't lose the love of God. That's why we witness that's why we share. That's why we proclaim what we see and hear, what we know. As he said, we proclaim to you what we have seen, heard, so that you may have fellowship with us, and that fellowship is with the Father and the Son, Jesus Christ. We proclaim so that you may have fellowship with us. Amen. Amen. Amen.